What is your work email etiquette and how do you send email to your boss, client or coworker? How many emails are left unread in your inbox at this moment? Do you know what your email is a permanent document that can always be pulled out against you? Email etiquette is an intricate art that is also important to master as the work email says a lot about your personality. Emails can be posted on the internet and exposed to the public. They can be forwarded to anyone. Your work email should portray you as the professional that you are. Hi everyone, I'm Mark Dumlopenar and I'll be showing you the best way to handle your work email to present yourself as a professional. You don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. Today, emails are an integral part of any workplace culture and you either spend much time reading emails or writing them. A small mistake in your work email can make you lose an influential client or affect the workings of an outstanding business deal and this is why you should pay much attention to your work email. Even more, the work email says a lot about your personality and mental health. With this in mind, on today's episode, I will take you through how to handle your work email efficiently, including how to write them and how to balance your work email with your mental health. But before I provide you with this information, I want you to leave a comment below sharing how you style of writing and reading your work emails. This episode will explain how best to handle your work email to ensure success in business and a portray great personality and positive mental health. Let's get started. As a professional, you should know what to include and what to leave out when writing work emails. First, you should know that smileys and other emojis should never be included in your work email. When you relate with people on different mediums, a smiley can reflect friendliness and warmth. But sending out a formal email with a smiley has the opposite effect. In most cases, it causes the receiver to have a lower estimation of your professionalism and competence. Next, avoid asking the question, does it make sense in your work emails? Though this question seems harmless, it comes off as though you are condescending to the receiver. Instead of this, you can say, if you have any questions, let's discuss this further. Another condescending term is the word obviously, after all. If it were obvious, you wouldn't need to send in an email. Emails with phrases or sentences in all caps are equivalent to you yelling at the receiver digitally. This can portray you as being confrontational. You should also avoid informal salutations such as hi there, hi dear, or instead of dear Mr. or Mrs. recipient. Then use formal closing as such best regards instead of cheers. Miscommunication over email makes matters worse, so if there is a disagreement brewing between you and your boss, client, or coworker, it is best to take the conversation offline. Does it seem like every time you open your inbox, there is always an email that requires immediate attention? Do you find yourself sinking and losing morale under the mountain of the urgent emails? What's worse is that ignoring them paints you as a slacker and unprofessional. To create a balance, you should create a specific schedule for checking your emails. You can decide to check your inbox and reply messages three to five times daily. This will help you get work done and also preserve your mental health. I've just shown you how to handle your work email. As you begin to follow these steps, your work email will reflect you as a professional. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.